What's going on guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I got to talk about this uh, video of a pop-up script club that was said to be in Chicago, but it may have been in Philadelphia. Not 100% sure. But from the comments that I saw, there were people saying that this wasn't Chicago, it's Philadelphia. It, it, those people could be lying because they don't want their city to look bad. But be it as it may, you have this pop-up script club going on you got women on poles with wooden flooring and you got this one guy throwing some money and you see another girl collecting money this is the type of stuff you have going on in 2021 this is attention seeking this is needing money real bad or needing to be the center of everybody's attention who are going to be driving down the street walking because it looked like this was in the park all right why these people decided to do this is beyond me i just i've never seen a, a scenario of a pop-up script club with two chicks on two different poles i've heard of a pop-up shop I've heard of mom and pops, but I've never heard of a pop-up script club. Again, that tells you a lot about our society. That tells you a lot of where the women are going and the males that enable this behavior. Because there are males enabling this behavior because they don't care. I don't know if they're getting a piece of the money I don't know if they, this was a quote unquote event that they put on, but to me, this is not good. This is not good at all. And I don't see the reason to be doing this outside like this. If you want to go and rent out a building space to do this, I get that. But you mean to tell me that people, I guess this is a good marketing tool, right? People walking down the street, they see two women on poles, so they go and give their money. Because I noticed it was, you know, a lot of women there. It wasn't really a lot of dudes there it, in the background, but they weren't really doing anything towards women, except for like one guy that I saw. But what's really the point of this? These women have no self-respect at all. And what's funny is that they will sit there and they will talk about how men are not respecting them men are calling them names men are using the b word men don't want to give them opportunities well look at how you treat yourself where are all the feminists at where are the feminists that complain about the the way men treat women in our society where are they at they got so much to say why y'all not saying nothing about this why are y'all not saying nothing about how these women are treating themselves. These women are treating themselves as if they have no respect for their body, no regard for their body at all. But these would be the same women who talk about men being creepy and men approaching them, right? These women are like men approaching them, but you will get on poles in the middle of the park to script. What does that tell you about where we are going in our society? These women got so much to say about the way men treat them and the way men speak about them. Look at how these women treat themselves. If anything, we're treating these women the way that they want to be treated. This is why they listen to the, the music that degrades them and they have no regard anything for their bodies whatsoever. They don't care. We have to stop pushing this narrative that it's the men out here exploiting these women because of course this event could have been put on by the men that, but there's a lot of women there that's the one thing i noticed in the video it's a lot of women in this video it's a lot of women in this video it ain't a lot of men there's more women than men out there and those women are there Taking in the entertainment, joining in. What do you say about that, feminists? Hey, you you males, you males who cape for these women 
and you constantly telling these women what they want to hear. What y'all got to say about this? Why are y'all so quiet? I want to hear from the hardcore feminists who always have something to say about the way men talk to women, the way men treat them. They don't show these women any type of respect. Even though you see a video of women disrespecting themselves, nobody forced those women to be out there. Those women are choosing this behavior because they are dysfunctional. They are dysfunctional. Now, again, I'm not sure who put this event on. Why am I, why am I calling the event? It's a pop-up script club. But again, I noticed there was a lot of women out. There was a lot of women out there. There were some guys, but there was a lot of women out there. So these women may have been the ones to do this because they want to make some money. But I, what about all you moms, right? You got young daughters. Do you want your daughters looking at this, seeing what these people are doing? I'm sure you don't, but that's what's going on. These women are out here disrespecting themselves and y'all wonder why your young daughters try to look like and imitate these women because these women are the ones getting the attention they're getting the attention and they see they say to themselves i want attention like that this is not what young girls should aspire to like your cardi b's of the world who has to go and get multiple upon multiple surgeries in order to look the way that she thinks she's supposed to look who has to go out there and, and dance and twerk and wear anything that they feel like will get attention from men young girls young boys are going to see this they're going to say to themselves that's the way women want to be treated because again none of those women was forced to do that this they, they're doing this because this is what they want to do they want to do this that's why i don't want to hear nothing about how we need to respect women, how we're disrespecting them, we don't treat them well. Look how they treat themselves. Look how these women disrespect themselves. All of what they do in their life, when they get on Instagram, when they get on social media, and they are dressed provocatively, when they are dancing, right? When they're getting on OnlyFans, and it, that's a choice. And we have to be honest and say a lot of modern women are choosing the behaviors. They're choosing to do what they're doing. We can no longer blame men because when you see women take L's, they always want to blame men. Even though that woman may bring an L on herself. This is an L. This is an L. I'm not sure what city it was located in, whether it's Chicago, whether it's Philadelphia, but this is still embarrassing. I'll leave a link to the video y'all can go and check the video out and then you can tell me what you think about it yourself